Hey guys, what's up? Crazy Man here, and we're starting a new series actually. I've got my friend Death Spirit here, and we're what's going. Up, yep, we are going to be playing some Terra Firma Craft, and we got a little bit done already. When until I realized that holy crap, I can actually record this. Yeah, it's a little bit of a surprise when I can actually record stuff because my computer. Large sometimes. Uh, but me, I'm going to turn down my chat a little. But we just got a little bit of a base set up, and Tyler Tyler suggested we dig a trench to farm zombies. So infinite rotten flesh, because rotten flesh is really useful in this mod, or rather, it's useless. But if you don't know much about this mod, this can look very confusing. And honestly, to people who do know a lot about this mod, it is very confusing. Yes, it's one of the most so, mods I've ever played. Yeah. I've played just about every mod on every second. Yep. Yeah. So what I'm doing right now, these are log piles and they do stuff. They they hold logs. They're basically a chest for wood, because uh, you, you place it, you open it up. Ah, yeah. Okay. But, let's see, I will start from the beginning. When you first start Terra Firma Craft, you have nothing, just like a normal vanilla. And there's trees, and so you're just going to go up to that tree, and you're going to look at it, and you're going to be real serious, and you're going to punch it. <laughs> then you're going to realize that, holy crap, this isn't normal Minecraft, you don't punch trees. And you punch the leaves until you get some sticks, which I'm getting horribly distracted by mean zombies. So you get yourself some sticks. There we go, I got, I got a stick. And now I'm going to run from the skeleton, because they're scary. And wither skeletons spawn with javelins in the overworld. And this is bad. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to die. Okay, yeah, rocks. Rocks like that. Rocks. You punch them. Oh, I died. Quite a few. There's four different categories, though. Sedimentary, igneous extrusive, igneous extrusive, and metamorphic. But once you have your rocks, you right-click with them in your hand, and there's a bunch of different patterns. Like if I carve out... Well, crap. Okay, I can make a shovel still. If you carve out this pattern here, it will make a stone shovel head. Then you take that, and you combine it with your stick, and it gets you a stone shovel. I don't want to make a shovel right now. There's something else I want to show you. You take your rocks and you make this pattern here, which is like a big shape James, thing. Did you know that there's deer in this one now? That there's what? Deer. Oh, cool. Well, there's literally two deer. Hmm. I just found two deer. Hmm. Well, you take that and you get yourself your stone axe. Then you can go chop down a tree and you get these logs, which you these are sycamores. Like yeah. Tree I'll it'll place a log. log. It'll take a little bit longer, and it'll take the durability out of basically chopping down the entire tree. Yep. And it just does it in one day. So it, it's a little bit faster and a little bit longer, but it's really nice for like jungle trees. Like if you're trying to chop down a jungle tree and stuff, you just use one axe and you just hit it and it chops it down. Yep. And you don't have to worry about trying to get some top of the tree and find. Okay. Um, so that's the logs, and then once you have your logs, you're going to want to do something with them. So you have this thing. This is the campfire, which is almost gone. Which apparently. Firestarter. What you do with that firestarter is you right click the sticks on the ground 
And after a couple tries, it'll light your campfire. Or one. What you do with that campfire is you take logs that you cut down, and you can either right click, or you can uh, enter into the GUI and put them in there manually. And then what you can do with the campfire is you cook food, uh, you can cook ores, and just basic, like, a, it's basically like a basic furnace. Like the, I don't know really what word I would use for that. And I just showed them how you make torches by putting sticks in there. Put a stick in there, catches fire, kind of like Katniss, then it's lit. And then you have torches. So those are pretty much the basics of getting started. And there's different recipes for the stone tools and stuff. And basically, anytime you see rocks, if you get something called a nugget, like you can get copper, stuff like that. Native copper nuggets here. Have, yeah, what it means is if you get like three rocks that have copper nuggets in it, means that there's a copper uh, deposit underneath them. Now it can be within 20 blocks of that area, and it can be all the way down at bedrock. It really it doesn't matter where it is, it's just near there. Yep. And then you just mine around and find it eventually. And then once you get the copper, you would take it and you would make find clay. Once you found some clay, you would stick that in a campfire and you'd get clay, or not a campfire, into a crafting table. And you'd make it like a chest and it'd give you clay molds. And then once you got clay molds, you would put those into a campfire or anything that would cook them. No, 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 no. It is different now. It is different. It is different. I just looked it up on the wiki while you were talking. So all that all that cool stuff he said, worthless. Now you get yourself a knife, which is uh, another one of the stone recipes in the stick. And you cut down a bunch of grass with the knife, and it gives you straw. Then you take the straw, and... You're going to want to make what's called a pit kiln. So I'm going to head back to the base. And the way you make the pit kiln is you dig a little one by 2 hole, which I'm going to want to do this where there's grass so it doesn't fall. But I want that dirt, this other dirt. Nah. I'll get it anyway just because I'm OCD. No, 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 no. Leave it like this. And you put up to four items in the hole. So we're just going to go with our clay pickaxe mold right now. Then you place 15 straw in the same block. So we are going to put the straw. So this is not working. You throw it out. You just throw it. Yeah. It shows on here that you place the 15 straw. Hmm. Are you sure you don't place 15 straw and then mold it? Oh, whatever. Let's just place 15 straw in there. Oh, and I mean, I like the note tape, but it's kind of confusing because when you're an older player, you yeah. are more used to the older Then once you're new, then once you're done, okay. Okay, it says do not throw the straw in the hole on this wiki page. Okay, we will be right back when we figure this out. Okay guys, we're back, and we figured out the problem. What was going on was that uh, the item that you want to put in the kiln, you don't just throw it in there, you, have, you actually have to shift right click to place it on the ground as an item like this like that and then you can put the stuff on it so basically like what you would actually have to do putting it in like a furnace and stuff yeah but i think next we wanted to move on to food while that's cooking up cuz yep. i have no idea <laughs> 
Could you make me a sim help on me? Try and get a bunch of seeds and then I'll be good to still make the farm. Um, sure, but first I am going to do something to make sure that I'm doing this right. So, I'm going to rebuild this. So I've got my 15 straw here, and I right click 15 times to place all of it. And then we've got our 15 straw in there. You cover it up with logs, which I don't know if it all has to be the same type. No. It shouldn't have been. Never yeah. had to do it before. And I guess they just changed the mm. model up, so yeah. probably They're making everything weird and confusing now. Yes, they make it very difficult. But right now I just want to find a few more logs of this type that I can salvage. Uh, I white have elm, two stacks of 16, white elm, sigma. white elm. There we go. I have 16 white elm now. So shift click, then you fill it up with all the other logs, and it's got the full 16 logs in there. And you right click with the fire starter. Which, is it still raining? No. Uh, I have my Optifine stuff set to not show rain. So. Same, but it's not. Okay, and oh, there we go. There we go. I did it. Remember the, uh, yeah, it just wasn't doing it right, but it is ready now, and it looks like we are going to have some stuff soon, so it just needs to burn. Okay, next we wanted to get started on food, so... I will get to work on making some tools, and Tyler wanted to be the one. Oh, dang it. I took off one too many things on the crafting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and there we set go. up the little area. And this. There you go. Enjoy. And you placed a sycamore log. Well. Yeah. And this is <laughs> this is all of the dirt we got. So we got quite a bit of dirt from digging this thing out. Yeah, the trash we got what the like seven stacks probably. Um, an entire chest full. Half chest, please. Yeah. Which, a chest full is not nearly as much as it is in vanilla, but... Yeah, it's... Most items only stack up to 32, so it's kind of a bit yeah. annoying, but... And here's uh, another recipe for you. That's the javelin head, which I think I'm going to make a few of those. Yeah. And... I'm going to go hunting. Because... We are starving. And, yeah, if you look at the green bar down there, that's my food bar. And it's very close to the... Ooh, there's a wild death spirit. If your first bar gets below, like, half, it's basically like food and vanilla, you can't sprint. And eventually you'll die. Which, I think I see some plants up here, but they look like fancy flowers. Which I'm gonna stay in the water a little longer so I can drink a little more. And then be able to sprint. There's a yeah. bunch of water bottles on the chest. Yeah. So what is this? I have no idea. Not in here. They're not dropping oh, okay. anything. And that's not exciting or fun. Oh my. That is awesome. I found a ravine. Yeah, I see that. Come here, James. Okay. Uh, I don't see you. I don't see you. I don't see you. Oh, I see you. And over the pit of death. Uh, what do you do? There he is. 
Is it the deer you were talking about earlier? Okay, let's get this guy. Here, here. Let's get him. And go! We're gonna get a deer. We are eating tonight. Yeah! I got bones yeah. and raw hide. Did you get his uh, meat? I didn't get any meat. Aww. Yeah. He didn't drop any then. Oh, yeah, right yes, I, did, I did get a raw hide and a bunch of bones though, which you can't turn into bone meal. But I'll have to look up what they're used for. Bones? I mean, you think you'd be able to make like, something out of it. Yeah. Uh, no. Do you know how water still saturates the uh, land for blocks? What is that? Do you know if water still saturates the land for more blocks? I do not know. Okay. So, the next thing we need is to find animals. Yeah, we still need to find animals. Yes, but and there, you need to that is. Farm because, mind you guys, if you're playing solo, don't kill all the sheep right out the spawn. <laughs> because the animals do not respawn. Once Ever. you kill them all, they do not respawn. They only Ever. breed. And they don't breed naturally, so. Yes, so once you've killed all the pigs, and they're supposed to breed naturally, but they don't because they don't feel like it. Yeah. So you're best, you're better off just going ahead and building, digging out a pit or something like that real quick, and then just going ahead and setting up a little farm, basically. Like that. Yep. And then you can just lure pigs in and cows and sheep. Well, with the new update here. Yep. And uh, farm them like that. Okay, I think we should get some barrels pretty soon. Uh, we already have three barrels. Oh, nice. And don't break too much of the grass with your hand, because knives are the way to go. I'm just trying to get some. Nice! Haha! <laughs> I just figured uh, out that you can make two knife blades with one crafting. <laughs> how? Let's see if you can do it with hose, too. Oh, you can't. Uh, if you split it down the middle and make two knives. Oh, you can make it two different. Or with one yep. thing, you can make two. Yes. Hey, Let's could you see. grab me some dirt and bring it over here? Mm. I have seven dirt. Is that enough? In the chest, can you grab it? There you go. Have some dirt. I'm getting more thatching stuff, though. Because this is a good building material. Even though we should probably be doing something else. Dirt and, grab a and then there, there is no TPs. Unless the server has a plug in, there is no TPs. So, it's basically. The motto of the mod, the motto, whatever you want to call it. Motto. Uh, <laughs> the, anyways, it is the survival mode the way it should be. Yep, and it is crazy. Yes, it is, depending on what difficulty you have on, the mobs, the <laughs> super LBs, they absolutely torch you. You should have seen what it was like when we were building our little... Trench. Oh, before he started recording, I, we, I wanted to start recording a little. Er like, I wanted to start recording a little earlier, but I couldn't because I couldn't stop to start the recording. Well, if you had started recording that, they would probably be 
zombies, that how many zombies there were. And we'd also be dead. Yeah. But, oh, there really is a nice amount of clay out here, isn't there? Yeah. Which, I got a few shovel heads. So I'm going to make a new shovel. And pretty soon, we can get moving towards our first pickaxe. Which, mind you, if you use that minus mod, the pickaxe takes forever to get. Yep. But once you have a pickaxe, you can invest using your pickaxe to get more metal. So, it is, uh, it is difficult to get, but... But very useful once you get it. And yep. Once you get it, it opens the door to getting a ton more. It's your lifeline in the mod. And then once you've got really good metals, then you get into the alloy system, which drives me insane. Yes, it is. If you have ever played uh, Tekken, or not Tekken, but Feed the Beast, any, any major you mod packs. to make uh, Quantum, just imagine that. But on a scale, three times bigger. Yeah. Because to make the best uh, metal in the game, it probably takes, what do you think, James? About three, probably about three weeks to get it. Yeah. Uh, playing for like two hours a day. Yeah, give or take. And, yeah, it, it's... You don't progress too quickly in this mod. Yeah, it, I think this mod... So it's mostly a bunch of derping around. For a long time uh, playing experience. Yep. But you can make some really cool stuff with the uh, building mechanics. And is that your way out there? Yes. It is. I don't want to use the teleports too much because they honestly feel a little cheaty. And they don't fit with the whole theme of survival mode as it should have been. Oh my gosh, it's Tim. Tim versus little Tim. Let's see who wins. And yes, if you have ever played this mod, you should know the nickname for the skeleton with armor. Holy Sam. crap. What hit me? I just flew like ten blocks in the air. Oh. Well, that wasn't fun at all. Because now I'm out of food. We still don't have anything. Oh, this is great. Oh, and now I'm in the zombie pit. Oh, just do slash, uh, Yeah. I don't like that. Oh, wait, there's some more. Oops, it's going to go further down. Okay. The main reason I use it is because right now with this server, I swear, there is a stupid amount of bombs. And one good thing that they do have is keep in memory, so yeah. once you die, you don't have to worry about going across the map. That feels especially yeah. cheaty. And I will put the IP and the mod in the description of this video, yeah. so. Um, hmm. So what should we do right. next? You guys came on the server and played with us, but... Please don't uh, raid. <laughs> yep. And your punches are stupidly weak in this. Like, this is the crappiest weapon, and it adds 45 damage. So imagine your punches, which do 1 damage. Now imagine this times 45 to kill one zombie. Oh, dang, I starved to death. Well, that's convenient. Yes. And it's not a one-hit kill with the uh, javelin, either. It's... Even if you throw it... It's probably about a three-hit. If you throw it, it's a three-hit. But they break and so you fast, too. And have a high too. chance of breaking if you, uh, hit with them, like if you punch. Yep. Which, I need some water. But wait, no, I don't. Uh, I still just need food. And... Yes, there is baby zombies in this, if you haven't noticed, and they're very, very, very yeah, annoying. they're mean. But we've got a good amount of tetrahedrite, so let's check on the fire pit. 
It's done. It's done. Sweet. We need to start up a charcoal thing. But we don't have yes. any. Uh, we don't have uh, nearly enough lumber. Did you have, uh. Did you end up figuring out how to make, uh, planks? Because I was going to make a bowl. A couple bowls and then make some mushrooms too. Mm. Mm. And we have, uh, 11 copper nuggets, so. Let's mm, go. Nice. Okay. Now I am going to do the casting. Which, excuse me while I go look all this up, because I used to know all of this, but then they changed everything, and I don't know anything. So, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back, and we are going to start smelting some of this tetrahedrite ore that we have. And to do that, we're going to be using this pit kiln again. We take our little ceramic vessel that we conveniently found from someone else, but could have made ourselves, I swear. <clears throat> you just do this right here and oh, that makes you clay molds but I'm, I'm derping I'm derping uh something crap what are you trying to make? okay I know how to make the things I swear there you go clay vessel you smelt that and it gives you a ceramic vessel so then you put your tetrahedrite in there and you place it in the little thingy then you fill it up one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of the stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're going to need more lumber. So let's see, how much is over here? Fourteen, fifteen. I need one more. Sick of more. There we go. Just salvaging it from the walls. Then you take it and you don't do that. Do anything but that because that is the wrong thing to do. Even though I always do it. Hmm. Don't make judge. Make sure when you're doing that stuff, if you don't want to waste your axe, make sure that your shit's ready. Yeah. It doesn't damage the axe except for that one block worth. So. Yeah. And then spam that, work. and there you go. And eventually that will be done and it'll smelt all of that ore. And the fire uh, is stationary because I have maybe fire. Maybe you should uh, try and just go ahead and pause real quick and try and get a bunch of lumber and show them how to make a uh, charcoal pit. Yeah. Because that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Then we should get ourselves a bunch of those clay pots. Which, hopefully, something happens. And I'm going to make another one of these right here. So I'll just throw one of those in there. Actually, I don't want that in there like that. Can you hear me, James? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Now let me check my fraps. Oh. You broke it and did something. What did I break? I don't know. I just saw you break something. Okay. Well, we are going... Okay, I'm going to start recording now. Mm -hmm. You keep hey saying Hey, guys. What's up? It's uh, Skippy here. And this is my first video, and we're doing a little bit of terraforming craft. Uh, that's my friend James, crazy man. I'll Hello. I'll link to his channel in the description. Hello. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna be doing a little bit of a uh, let's play here. We already started off a little bit, not much, just have like the basic base and stuff like that. Uh, we don't even have a pickaxe yet, so you'll be tuned in to see that in what do you think for about an hour or so? Yeah. Well, first um, guys, I am going to so, go ahead fun. and end this recording, right. and I yeah, will come back after know? his intro and okay. stuff is done, and we've what done a little bit of work. So, be back then. Okay, guys, I have been recording a while, and we've gotten a lot done. And we've shown off some cool parts of the mod, so I think I'm going to end it here, and we'll pick up right where we left off next time. So. Until then, take it easy.